we can't live like that sex isn't just a physical act it isn't it was created if you believe that we're here for a purpose we're not just like created to just exist for a moment and disappear into nothing then you know that that is like a deep intimate act you know that definitely is shouldn't be uh, taken for granted you know um you know, people, pe- there are people, individuals that I believe they can vouch that when they have certain lifestyles where they treat sex as just a physical act and, and, and they, you know, they're very blasé about it, that in the end they end up as if something's really deep missing inside of them. You know, they, they feel yeah. very bad. They feel very unfulfilled. You know, Captain Hugo's nodding. So we need to be careful about this, guys. Now, uh, Petrina, it's your time now, and we've been doing our book analysis on the book Bulletproof Dating these past couple of weeks, and I'm telling you, I have been enjoying this so much. I even sleep going over the material that you share with us from this book, you know. That's great. Yeah, it's good. So, uh, so yeah, so just gi- uh, give us a bit of uh, a background on what we're going to be looking at today. Okay, so the past few weeks we've been looking at this chapter titled The 27 Myths That Keep You From Being Happy in Love. And we've covered uh, myths number 1 till 15 the last three weeks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we're tackling them five at a time, right? Yes, that's right. Debunking these myths. Just give us an idea of one myth that we we debunked uh, a while ago. Okay, let me see what my favorite one is. Yeah, so, what's your favorite uh, one? Uh, it's a page 117, right? Yeah, 100, yeah, from page 117. Mm-hmm. Hmm, let me see. <laughs> it's quite hard to choose. They're all great, really. What about number three? I haven't found my soulmate yet. Right. Yes, I think it's one of my favorites. That's really. one of our favorites. So those are the kind of myths that we've been debunking, uh, guys. Um, if you haven't followed it yet, go. You can visit YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, dot com forward slash c forward slash robust life tv and you can check the old episodes with petrina and also connect with petrina on in the description as well if you have any questions for her so we've been going through all of this today uh so we've got some another new five for today and i'm looking forward to it petrina take us to the promised land that's right so today we're on page 121 mm-hmm. and myth number 16 mm-hmm. says the person will change after they get married Mm. So, myth num- so a lot of people yeah a lot of people they, they go into relationships they find that you know that there may be things that is doesn't look right or <laughs> you know things that they don't like about the partner mm. and then they say not to worry you know let's just get married and that person will change after the marriage and mm. that that's really a myth mm-hmm. yeah that's that's a it, huge it's, yeah, it says people don't change because of marriage. They only change when they want to change. If there's anything about his or her character that's unacceptable, that needs to be fixed before you marry, mm. as um, the person will have, will have very little incentive to do so later on. Mm. Usually what's bad during courtship worsens after marriage. Ooh, now that's really like... Uh-huh. poking you right in the side so what it what, yeah. so usually what's bad during courtship gets worse after marriage and as you're saying that right now uh there was an article i was actually looking at to, in today's paper um mm-hmm. and I, I don't know if you, if you might have caught it and it's to do with this actually and basically there was a guy who actually abused a lady um he abused her and and now they're getting married uh, wow. Yeah, it, it, I mean, obviously we don't like that kind of stuff, but it, yeah, it says a uh, former car Kasabian star Tom Migan has married partner Vicky Age a year after he uh-huh. pleaded guilty to drunkenly attacking her. 
The couple wed in an intimate affair at Market Mar Harbour Register Office in less posing for a kiss on the doorstep. They look all very happy, so very excited. But if those, you know, if that darkness hasn't been dealt with, mm. after this excitement goes, you know, I don't like to say I'm not wishing bad on anybody, but like what you're saying yeah. here, you know, it could end up being a nightmare. Mm. I'll, I'll be interested to find out, you know, what what happens in a few weeks or few months down the road. You know? Absolutely, and you know, and this is this is all about head over heart, right? Because the heart mm -hmm. wants what it wants. The heart yeah. wants what it wants. If it sees a person, and it, you know, and you and that you want to date, that you want to call, and you just desire to have someone by your side rationale mm -hmm. can go easily out of the window, right? You start just yeah. focusing on, and they're usually superficial good points you know or their perfume the way they talk or we had a good conversation whatever mm -hmm. but there are these things that flare up where you can see a situation happens or uh, a problem comes and you actually see signs that are like nah, 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 beware do you know what i mean you can see the person getting yeah. heated in a conversation or, or a disagreement or you know what i mean and because the heart wants what it wants it says oh after I marry him, he's going to change, or she's going to change. She's going to become mm. better. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's been the but. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah, you know, it doesn't keep your I, eyes I also open. Wanted to add, yeah, I also wanted to add that you know I always uh, go back and say, how does this apply to like your business or job? You know, normally when you you you, you start a job, you go through this probation period. Yes. So that's when you know all all these um all these problems need to be ironed out. Yes. Basically before the person is you know confirmed that's true that's true so you find out you so you're going so what you're saying is you're going to a job uh you find mm -hmm. out the strengths the weaknesses of the applicant right exactly yeah, yeah. You, you 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 go into their cv to see what their mm -hmm. history is like what experiences yeah. they have you probably check mm -hmm. their dbs i think it's dbs exactly. right um to see if they if they can work in a certain environment you do your due mm -hmm. diligence the due diligence before you bring this individual that you're not familiar with into your working environment because the work in this environment you want to build something you want to go somewhere so you have to mm -hmm. scrutinize the individual but we're not as yeah. careful as that with our relationship life yes and in and when we see signs instead of saying you are fired it's like, uh -huh. no, it's like after I hire them, they're going to be perfectly fine. No, it's okay. When we work together, you're going to be all right. You know, when you, when you, when you employ family members to work in your restaurant, mm -hmm. but the person- You cannot yeah. fire your wife or husband. <laughs> you can't. Like you that. can't. You can't no. fire them like that. Because once they're in, they're in. Yeah, right? forever. You, you can't, you can't, you can't. Yeah, you just have to deal with them. Right? Mm -hmm. um, but you know, in, in a normal job scenario, you, the, the person has a reputation for being lazy. But because your heart is yeah. like, oh, Oh, Auntie Sus, who recommended this person, you know, and you have six months of hell, but you can fire mm -hmm. an employee and say, no, sorry, this yeah. isn't going to work. But when it comes to love life, it ain't that easy. It, you know, yeah, it, it isn't. Yeah, you have to do your due diligence, guys. So, uh, yeah, I, I think that's really powerful. So, he or she will change after we get married. Really? That's been. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love the sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Uh, what else we got there? Okay. Myth number seventeen. Mm -hmm. If you get pregnant, you have to get married. Ooh. Wow. Ooh. This is getting. This is touching deep. This is touching yeah. really deep. Wow. This is. This book don't hide nothing. You know. Doesn't try to make it cozy. Yeah. All right. Let's go into these yeah. tough subjects. Let's go. Yeah, so when I, when I saw this um, this myth, it, the, the picture that came to my mind is, you know, especially in the olden days, mm -hmm. if you ever got uh, pregnant, mm -hmm. that, you know, the parents and the elders will, you know, because of, thing of your reputation, yeah. they'll, they'll say, you know, you need to get married because, you know, we, we can't have a single mom and all these things, right? Or a single parent. Mm -hmm. So so that, that, I think, adds to what this uh, paragraph is about. Mm -hmm. And it says... The cure can be worse than the illness if you went down this route. Mm. <laughs> so, so it's not every man who can get a woman pregnant can be a father and a husband. Mm. And likewise, not every woman who gets pregnant can be a mother or wife. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is really strong. Mm -hmm. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, it says it's not by chance that many children are raised by their grandparents mm. 
Mm. It's a social tragedy, but getting married just because you're pregnant can be even more tragic for everyone involved. Mm. And it says here, you need to make rational considerations and weigh the pros and the cons before you act. Exactly. <sighs> this is really deep. This yeah. is really deep. And, and, I, and I get where it's coming from uh, because... Mm -hmm. Imagine if you if you came together into a relationship, but there are lots of underlying issues, mm -hmm. you know, um, having that person in your life. I mean, firstly, that relationship is going to be very strained, you know, yeah. um, and for the child growing up, you know, to that relationship could end up being quite toxic and exactly. can cause more trauma. Um, yeah. So I get what it's I get what it's saying. And sometimes if if the, if the circumstances are not right this is saying look it's uh -huh. better that you just don't go down this road together because uh, yeah. that's what usually ends up happening anyway isn't it mm -hmm. that's what usually yeah. ends up and happening just, anyway. just that, that that piece of news you shared a few minutes ago about you know the abusive relationship so mm. imagine if you you were in that and mm. then you brought a baby it, it will just be a disaster because yeah. it's already a disaster with, with the couple itself shouting each other you know abusing each other yeah and then when you bring a baby into it imagine the baby is crying all night that, yeah. that's gonna agitate the relationship even more yeah and this is the reality you know uh, having a baby doesn't solve all the problems you yeah. know what i mean um, obviously men sometimes when we have uh, that response depending on the state of the man's mind right and uh -huh. and and, yeah. and his background you know when a child comes to the picture they 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 will level up there are men that uh -huh. level up they're like you know what i need to fix up they have a they have a road to damascus moment and they level up but i don't think that's a common thing i don't think their leveling up is enough to be able to sustain that relationship all the time if they had already serious underlying issues in, you know yeah. and, and this goes for men as it's and women as well at the same time so mm -hmm. yeah this is this is a huge one and it's quite a sensitive one so um yeah th this is a really bold one to uh, to share with us today so it's really strong so yeah so if you get pregnant you have to get married it has been debunked yeah in theory it's a great <laughs> idea but if we rationalize it mm -hmm. it's not it's it, you know certain situations are not a healthy one yeah no it isn't okay yep go ahead champion okay so that moves us on to myth number 18 mm -hmm. which is having a baby will keep us together Ooh, my goodness it's got you know today's going in like nobody's business uh -huh. captain hugo it's got it's like you know when you got a wound and you and you, and you put salt on the wound afterwards don't fall for that you know all myths all myths, all myths. Mm, so having a baby, no. yeah. <laughs> having yeah. a baby will keep us together. Let's hear it, Petrina. Yeah. So, sadly, you know, mo most women, because they want to hold on to a relationship, they will, you know, either deliberately or you know, un unplanned, get married, uh, mm -hmm. sorry, get pregnant, mm -hmm. in order to hold on to to the man. So that really happens. And, yeah. That really happens. So wow. it says. Yeah, research shows that the arrival of a child brings greater challenges for a couple. This is exactly what I was just sharing in, in the myth before. Mm -hmm. If they are unprepared and their relationship is troublesome, a child will only bring more conflicts. Yeah. Wow. Uh, wow. So it says here, suffice it to say that if this myth were true, there would be no uh -huh. single mothers out there. Research. Exactly. Wow, this is really this is true. Sometimes you just have to look. You know, many times we can just assume things because of how we feel mm -hmm. or how we want yeah. the story, the the, st the fairy tale to go. Right? Mm -hmm. We can get so caught up yeah. in the fairy tale of what our desires want, what our desires mm -hmm. we feel that we need. You know that yeah. rationale can literally be thrown out of the window. You know, mm -hmm. and it, it, it's true. If there were. It, it, you know, you touched earlier in this in this in this book that before getting into a relationship, you need to sort out yourself, right? Exactly. But if that hasn't, if two people who are in a in, in a wreck come together, uh -huh. you just get a bigger wreck, right? Then exactly. okay, we're in a bigger wreck, but you know what? Let's have a child as if it will kind of solve oh. everything. It's just gonna yeah. add. It's gonna add petroleum and 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 gasoline and a and a lighter to the concoction there's a few ladies out there yeah. they still believe that 
get falling pregnant to hook the guy. Wow. Mm-hmm. Wow. So ladies, don't 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 do that. Don't do that because that just makes life hard for yourself, right? It mm-hmm. makes life weird for the guy if it's been done intentionally and more importantly, the child who had no say in the matter, it makes life very yeah. difficult for the child. The child and you know I, I and I've seen this I've seen this I'm from that generation I'm a 1980s generation right uh-huh. and we were the baby boomers you know we are th- we we're, were that generation where when we became teenagers you know there were a lot of um unplanned pregnancies in in our generation let's uh-huh. double bust this double bust we have to double bust it yeah, this we have is to double, double bust. bust it but but <laughs> but the thing is it didn't end up good you know what I mean and the repercussions we've had so many children that have gone on without their you know both partners um, both sides of the family and they've had to go through hardship in life it's it's like the situation yeah. is keeping them a step back because of this setup that the adults who knew what they were doing or this person knew what they're doing intentionally made you know so we do mm-hmm. hope that people can resolve things if you're in this situation now do your best to resolve it but it's not a situation to create uh, for yourself and put yourself in um you know especially if you want to make life um, a really, really good quality and a really good start for a newborn child's life. So uh, this month, having a, this this myth, having a baby w- will keep us together is busted. 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 This is for all the children. Busted. Here we go. <laughs> well done. All right. Uh, Buono, here's a question here from Janet uh, on our live chat. She says, it's a difficult one because when things are good, there is no one better than the child's parents to raise the child, which is true when things are good. Mm-hmm. But if there are underlying issues, somehow these need resolving first. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's it. That's mm. what it comes down to. Thank you for that, Jeanette. Okay. Yep. Let's continue, Petrina. Okay. Myth number 19. Mm. Sex is just a physical act. Okay. Wow. Now we're getting we're getting even deep. This is these these ones are just hot today. All right. Let's go, Petrina. So it says the greatest allies of this myth, amongst many others, are movies, TV series, and soap operas. Hmm. This is why we we've encouraged you in in the past uh, on this book, not to watch so many of those sort of uh, movies, TV series, and soap operas because it does affect your your thinking as well yeah and and what these shows uh, normally they go about is that they don't value sex because they don't associate it with intimacy mm. that's so true oh my gosh mm-hmm. that's that's the bottom line right there isn't it yeah. mm-hmm. and, and i always say you know these soap operas these uh, movies they're, they're only like 20 30 minutes or an hour a couple of hours long mm-hmm. and in, in all these uh, scenes they are always compressing like a whole years or a full, full many years uh, life story into a, either 30 minutes 20 minutes or you know a couple of hours mm. and we get into that you know um, imaginative world yeah. and think that's real reality as well and we, we apply it to the, our actual lives and that's this true. is where it, it goes through yeah we you know we can so get caught up in the music the ambiance and there everything yeah. at the end everything goes right and everything like, goes yeah. right they live happily ever it's after it's a mess so lifelong <laughs> and at the end everything yeah. everybody's happy everybody's happy how can you be that then we it's not possible yeah that's the thing isn't it and we get we can get caught up right it's mm-hmm. uh you said it music what we see all these things can influence us we start thinking we can do whatever mm-hmm. we want at the end will be right I, I remember when i was it's a teenager right. like the old version of robert and i remember i'll be huh? playing some jams you know in my room i'll be playing some jams and i would uh-huh. visualize myself in that kind of scenario with the girl that i like and the conversation oh. goes so well you know i don't i don't visualize her having issues i don't visualize her having to have dealt with trauma i don't visualize her having certain bad habits you know what i mean it's just that music and everything goes according to planning you're like ooh, 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 and it just feels nice but that's not how the real world works, you know? And yeah. I think to help ourselves, we need to detox ourselves from a lot of these things. Um, uh-huh. and, uh, this is what I'm saying to everyone. If, if you're watching on YouTube, we need to detox ourselves from a lot of these things because sometimes we're just not in reality. A lot of these things that we're yeah. seeing in the world, a lot of these problems uh-huh. like people are harming other people. Sometimes people are been so full of fantasy with what they see in the media, et cetera, et cetera, that they, they've lost touch. 
They've lost mm. touch, you know, and they're making choices based on feelings and emotion based on someone's script. Exactly. No, we can't live like that. We can't live like that. Sex isn't just a physical act. It isn't. It was created. If you believe that we're here for a purpose, we're not just like created to just exist for a moment and disappear into nothing, then you know that that is like a deep, intimate act, you know, that definitely is shouldn't be uh, taken for granted. You know, um, you know, people, pe- there are people, individuals that I believe they can vouch that when they have certain lifestyles where they treat sex as just a physical act and, and, and they, you know, they're very blasé about it, that in the end they end up as if something's really deep missing inside of them. You know, they, they feel yeah. very bad. They feel very unfulfilled. You know, Captain Hugo's nodding, nodding. So we need to be careful about this, guys. All uh-huh. right. So so sex is just a physical act. That myth has been busted. 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 One more. Busted. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Let's go for the last one. This is hot today. This is hot today. We have Jeanette saying this is a great book. Very useful. Jessica Sotter saying interesting topics. I'm starting my book again. Absolutely fantastic. Great. That's great. All right. Let's keep it going. This is the last one. So the, the final one for today is mm-hmm. follow your heart. This is another great myth as well. Oh, gosh. Yeah. Now, it says your heart is the voice of your feelings and emotions. Mm -hmm. It's responsible for the majority of failed marriages and other disappointments in love. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay, keep it going. So it says, follow your head, which is which is made to think, evaluate and make decisions. Mm -hmm. You use your head for other areas in your life. Why wouldn't you use it in such an important area as your love life? Mm, it's true my goodness this you know this saying has been in, is literally indoctrinated in us isn't it yes is it follow your heart no. follow your, i mean i know captain hugo what are your thoughts on that one just remember your heart is behind all your mistakes <laughs> that's a good way to put it you need to turn that into a quote you need to turn that into a quote captain hugo just remember your heart is behind all your mistakes that's a very strong yeah. point Mm-hmm. Yeah, why why? Why are we saying that? Because it's feelings, right? The heart mm-hmm. wants what it wants. It doesn't rationalize. It can see yeah. a person and see their beautiful appearance, their beautiful shape, and desire mm-hmm. it and not think what's the psychological state of that person. Right? Yeah. <laughs> right? You, mm-hmm. you, you know, you, you your heart lives for the moment only, you know. Only for the moment. Mm-hmm. Only for the yeah. s- f- feel the need for the moment, but then you deal with consequences for the rest of your life. Hey, Petrina. Yeah. Yes. Right. And, and you know, while while looking at this uh, this myth, the picture that came comes to mind is anyone who knows me, I'm not a fan of high heel shoes, right? Mm. So ladies, for example, you know, go to the shop, you you see these lovely high heel shoes, and then it's all fancy, and then mm. you, you follow your heart and say, let's buy it because it's going to match my dress and all that. And then mm. when you take it home and you wear it, and it's totally uncomfortable, it you know just <laughs> just ruins your legs. After and that. You, when the bill comes. Yeah, and the bill comes. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Isn't it? Isn't it? But that was yeah. the heart, right? That was the heart. Yes. I, I want yeah. it. I want it. How many people have... Mm-hmm. A, and this is my niece, right? And I want... I've, mm-hmm. I've just already said the name. But like, I've got different nieces anyway. But like, people who love trainers. They're like, oh, look yeah. at those trainers. And they have a collection of different trainers. Do they wear them all? Mm-hmm. No, no, but if they save that money, they could invest them in stocks and shares and ETFs and actually <laughs> get a turn, creating something for the, a trust fund for their future or something like that. Um, so exactly. the heart just wants what it wants. Listeners, mm-hmm. the heart wants what it wants. It doesn't look at what can occur later. It doesn't look at the psychological state of this person. It doesn't see mm-hmm. the, 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 the red flags in the person's character. You know, yeah. we can't, we need to learn to detox our heart, to kind of mm-hmm. wash our heart and li- literally work with our logic, with our reason. You know, it's not worth it to go mm-hmm. into your feelings. It's just not worth it. It's not, what was yeah. it that Hugo said? He said, uh, if you look at your biggest mistakes, you find they all came from the choice your of your heart. Your heart is behind your biggest yeah. Your mistakes. Yeah. So, yeah, this is, this is a huge myth. 
Um, uh, yeah, this is a huge myth. And we have here, yeah. um, Jessica saying it's interesting topics. Uh, Janet says, follow your heart. What? Absolutely. Follow your heart. No. And, and maybe this is from some people listening. This is something that they're like, why would you say that? Why not follow your heart? You're, just use your intelligence. Let's use our intelligence here. Let's use our thinking. Let's listen to the quote. It's another f- mu- movie's line. It's a movie Follow line. Your heart. It's a movie wow, line. It's a beautiful song line. Life. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, thank you for that, Petrina. So, um, the myth about following your heart on the breakfast show this morning, it has been... Busted! Busted! One more, one more time. Busted! You're really beating up these myths. <laughs> yeah, today, today, Petrina, we've gone deep today. We've gone really deep today. Yeah. These are really powerful strong topics you know this hasn't gone on the surface today and um i just want to thank you for sharing this with us and for choosing this book review because i'm sure it's helping Mm -hmm. our listeners to make better choices if we want to have a a, you know good dating period and a Uh good relationship we need to work on ourselves first a child won't fix fix the problem if you try to skip steps Mm -hmm. and you try to get into a relationship and try to seal it with a child or try to seal it with Uh different things or you're seeing signs and you just say oh it's going to change afterwards no we need to work on ourselves first guys this is so important yeah i i think just to summarize is basically you need to bear in mind that when you get into a relationship it's for the long haul yeah so you need to look out for what what's going to work in the long term rather than just look at it as a you know the very short term uh, thing yeah so that's a real mindset shift there isn't it mm-hmm. yes. it's a mindset shift right um, yeah it's a long term not a heartbeat it's mm-hmm. a long term not a yes. heartbeat wow Wow, <laughs> look, you're just flowing today, Captain Hugo. Wow. <laughs> Captain Hugo's just rolling today. That's it. So, listeners, we really need to look at what we want in a relationship. If a person wants a, just a heartbeat moment and that's the, that's the stage that they're at, that's where they see themselves at, no one could, you know, more power to you. No one could do anything like that. But I think what we're seeing here, if people really genuinely, when they're at their, mm-hmm. their, 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 their true self, they want a healthy, fulfilling relationship that they can go yeah. the distance with, you know? Mm-hmm. So if that's the case, then these myths, you know, have to be busted and we need to, like um, Petrina was saying, have that mind shift. What do I want? Do I want mm-hmm. something long term? So then we have to do yeah. the quality work beforehand. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Petrina, thank you so much for that. You're welcome. You've been absolutely awesome, you know. I'm looking forward to the next five next week. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, gosh, this has been so great. This has been, look, guys, if this has been helping you, please let us know in the live chat. If you want to see the other previous shows, just visit the YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Robust Life TV. I'll put it in the live chat. Um, if you want to disturb Petrina, there's going to be links to her in that description in the YouTube channel. But we're going to go uh-huh. for a very quick time out now. And I think this has been phenomenal. And uh, Petrina, as we're going to be leaving from you, we're going to be moving on to the one and only your other half, Ronald, with his extensive wellness tip. Right, Ronald? Correct. Excellent. Yeah, we're ready. He's ready. All right, guys. So uh, with that note, we're going to close that chapter there. We're going to move on to the next one. And we're going to play some wonderful tunes from the one and only Captain Hugo. Remember, head over heart every single time. And you're going to build a life of quality. Let's do this, guys. Connect online Monday to Friday with special guests for inspiration, motivation to start your morning right. Music, banter, fun and laughter. Connect Connect. when you start your mornings with The Breakfast Show. Only on libertyradio.co.uk That's right, The Breakfast Show is back. libertyradio.co.uk from 6.30am.